is uh, Moses Chalai. I am the program coordinator for the IFET project called Northeastern Region Community uh, Management Project. This is located in the northeast of India. One of the things that uh, we have experienced is the, you know, how the project has managed the environment, the ecology part, and in a way that how that would be and is definitely contributing to this uh, issue of climate change that we all are you know, confronted with. Um, one thing is that uh, we have done, we have achieved quite a bit, the 860 villages that we have, have brought, you know, under the community preservation and conservation of biodiversity and the last count is 1860 square kilometers. Now that is not small, I mean, that's quite huge, but of course they are, the, this is the aggregated uh, you know, the figure, otherwise they are spread over across the six districts in, in this 860 villages. One thing is that uh, once upon a time these tribal villages, they could harmoniously live with the environment, but the last 40-50 years have experienced a number of changes, which also amounted to went and, you know, kind of destruction of the environment and the ecology and cutting down of trees and of course with increasing population the population pressure or the environment increased and thereafter they begin to experience a lot of difficulties and the project had to all do is that convince them to go back to the old system it's not really new thing but what their forefathers and the generations have done for ages together and uh, we could convince with almost no investment except the mobilizing and you know, convincing part of the, them, we have brought together this uh, much conservation and biodiversity conservation. Now this includes um, pristine forest, degraded forest, riverine, the rivers which are preserved for, uh, no, for endemic fish to get again uh, regenerated, and even elephant corridors, and even you know, uh, a python reserve and so on and so forth. You know. Uh, so this this has been very very encouraging, and one of the, after three four years, the communities have you know understood better and begin to see perceptible positive results as a you know outcome of these initiatives. And one of the immediate thing is that the water availability in the village, even during winter for drinking water, is definitely improved. And there's uh, water better discharge and the water better availability for the fields for this paddy you know cultivation. And then they see better in TFPs. They, they see much greater number of fish in the river, which they can also, in a regulated manner, fish and aids to their nutri uh, no, the nutrition, nutrition. So all this way they have, are beginning to uh, once again experience the positive you know, tangible results and tangible benefits. Now, in a way, they also say that the whole, this by you know, going for this initiative, you know, they feel that the you know their own whole environment and ecology also is improving around them, but in a broader term, I think the project has contributed its bit by you know uh, bringing so much uh, uh, area under pre uh, under preservation and you know, conservation, which um, we understand and we know is definitely contributing to the well-being of our climate and the, of course to the climate change issue uh, in, in I mean in, on the earth today. Thanks. <laughs>